All right, joining us at the moment uh, via phone is a journalist, uh, Lam Rana Ba, to give us further updates on uh, what's going on in Sierra Leone. Thank you very much indeed for joining us this time, Ba. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. All right, um, we understand that the work so far has been complicated by bad weather and uh, lack of manpower. Uh, what exactly do you think that the government is uh, you know, trying to do in the interim to uh, you know, cover these lapses? I think mostly the work has been affected by lack of manpower and um, the required equipment to do such um, a rescue. We're talking ab about a vast land, um, you know, on top of the hills where you have only two caterpillars and they're actually digging, you know. Apparently, I believe these are people who don't have experience about rescue missions. They're just um, road construction workers who are at the scene just digging and digging and bringing out parts of bodies, you know. Um, I was expecting situations like this. You have, um, you know, um, professionals, people who know what to do in trying to rescue. You know, the hope of getting survivors um, is no more but getting bodies out of the rubble. But that is diminishing, and there, there is a serious um, issue. I see the international support mostly is based on um, bringing in food, uh, medical um, equipment and support, and not much on, you know, um, helping the government, our country, about how we can uh, perhaps rescue or um, recover bodies um, in, in the rubble. And we have a very serious challenge in that area, having the manpower and the required equipment to do it. Well, um, President Ernest Baikoroma described Sierra Leone as being in a, a state of grief and he has promised um, relief to the more than 2,000 people left homeless. Has that relief started yet? Well, um, you know, there is a lot of support coming in. Um, you know, the, 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 the solidarity has been so, so, so much appreciated by the people of Sierra Leone. Even though we've not seen our Nigerian brothers yet and sisters yet, uh, but we've seen uh, leaders from um, the sub-region. The Togolese president was here yesterday. The Guinean president was here. He actually visited um, the, the, the site. And also um, President Salif was here. She act actually attended um, the, the funeral ceremony for um, the over 200, 300 people that were buried yesterday. And I think um, support is coming in, and there's a lot of um, local support. Serial unions, local serial unions are coming together to give support to individuals who are victims, those who are homeless, they are seeing how they can um, help in providing um, somewhere for them to sleep. But uh, basically most of them are at uh, schools in the communities and um, community centers they are out there presently. So they've been providing them with mattresses and blankets and um, sort of to pass the night um, at where they're staying. All right, but are you aware if the government is doing anything at the moment to address the um, issue of inadequate manpower? Well, the president actually called for more support. If you listen to his earlier statement, his public broadcast to the nation, um, he was calling for more support. You, you know, um, the government is trying, they've called for support, but um, the fact is it's not available in country. It's not here. All you can see at um, the, 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 the scene are construction equipment, caterpillars, and apparently these are just um, construction workers who are there trying to dig out uh, their bodies. And, uh, you know, um, in situations like this, um, you expect, you know, sniffer dogs, perhaps, or um, GPS equipment to see if they can trace where people are. We were talking about hundreds of houses under under the rubble, you know, and a lot of people, it is believed around 600 or so people are under that, that place. So the equipment are not here, the facility is not here. So unless someone um, think about helping us come in with equipment to see how they can help us out. Well, there are fears that um, besides this mod, mod slides now, there may be corresponding epidemics that may arise. Um, for instance, there's cholera and the fear of a resurgence of the Ebola. Um, what is being done to avert these epidemics? I think what is being done presently is a lot of awareness on um, a possible outbreak of cholera because we are talking about 
um, a place that is close to um, the dam, the, 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 the company that supplies water in the capital, Freetown, they have um, um, a water catchment area close to where the, 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 the old mudslide happened. So, um, the um, issue of inadequate manpower. Well, the president actually called for more support. If you listen to his earlier statements, his public broadcast to the nation, um, he was calling for more support. You, you know, um, the government is trying, they've called for support, but um, the fact is, it's not available in country. It's not here. All you can see at um, the, 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 the scene are construction equipment, caterpillars, and apparently these are just um, construction workers who are there trying to dig out their bodies, uh, you know, um, in situations like this, um, you expect, you know, sniffer dogs, perhaps, or um, GPS equipment to see if they can trace where people are. We, we're talking about hundreds of houses under, under the rubble, you know, and a lot of people, it is believed around 600 or so people are under that, that place. So the equipment are not here, the facility is not here, so unless someone um, think about helping us, coming with equipment to see how they can help us out. Well, there are fears that um, besides this mod, mod slides now, there may be corresponding epidemics that may arise. Um, for instance, there's cholera and the fear of a resurgence of the Ebola. Um, what is being done to avert these epidemics? I think what is being done presently is a lot of awareness on um, a possible outbreak of cholera because we are talking about um, a place that is close to um, the dam, the, 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 the company that supplies water in the capital, Freetown, they have um, um, a water catchment area close to where the, 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 the old mudslide happened. So um, there is a lot of awareness about um, awareness, uh, on, on a possible cholera outbreak. UNICEF and other health partners and the Ministry of Health as well, they're doing a lot of, of awareness raising, uh, telling people to um, take care, wash their hands, to um, watch the water they drink and so, sort of. And there is a lot of awareness. And I wouldn't be surprised if there is an outbreak because um, this is the rainy season and stuff like this happening. It's, it's, it's really worrying. Right. Please, many thanks for joining us, and um, our heart goes out to all of you in Sierra Leone.